Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to optimize the storage space on your macOS device. This will allow you to check how much storage you're using on your Mac and then help to optimize it and clear some storage out uh, if you're running out of space and then you can remove any unnecessary or unused files. It's a pretty simple process and it will allow you to clean up your Mac quite nicely. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so there's a few different ways you can access your storage settings on your macOS device. But the quickest way is to go up to the Apple logo in the top left hand corner and then go to About This Mac. Then when you see this screen, you can go up the top where it says Storage and just click that. And then you'll see your any drives that are connected to your computer. In this case, I've only got the inter internal storage connected. But if you had any USBs or external drives, they would also show up here. And you can see it shows the total capacity here and also uh, how much is available, which is around 39 gigabytes. And I'll just give this a moment to calculate how much storage has been used here. And as you can see, it's found it. And this probably isn't the uh, most accurate reading here because um, this is a different user and most of the data is on a different user. Um, but you can see it says other users is using 136 gigabytes got apps with 20 gigabytes and then some small categories as well with Mac OS uh, so the system using 23 gigabytes and then system data using 20 so those two will fluctuate I wouldn't worry too much about those two unless it's really out of control but um, they should fluctuate and it shouldn't be um, restricting how much storage you have so don't worry too much about those and if you want to manage your storage a bit further what you can do is click this manage button here and you'll see it opens this uh, window in system information. So it comes up down here and you've got it all here. So we'll start on the recommendations page and there's four recommendations here for me. So one of them is that I could store my files and photos in iCloud. Um, so it saves space and only keeps the recent files um, on this back. So if I was paying for an iCloud subscription and I had some data, um, you can click that button and sign in with your iCloud account. The next one is to optimize storage. So um, we can save space by automatically removing movies and TV shows um, that you've already watched or listened to from this Mac. So we'll have a look at this one now and click optimize. And then it says, do you want to optimize storage of movies and TV shows? So it's saying that the already watched and listened to ones uh, will be removed from this Mac and you can download them again at any time. Um, so if we click optimize here, you'll see it's removed them um, and you can see it gives you the little completed icon here so to show that you've done that. Now, yeah, and you can also just quickly see um, how your storage is going up the top here at a glance. That updates live. So if you want to see what effect these are having, you can check it there. I'm not expecting these to have much of an effect at the moment because there's not much on this um, user, but it's just to show you how it works. We can also turn on emptying the bin automatically um, if files have been in there for more than 30 days. That's always a good one to turn on. So you can just turn that on there. You can see that one's completed. And then we can also reduce clutter by sorting through the documents and other content that's stored on this Mac and deleting what's no longer needed. So if we have a look at reviewing files here, you'll see it first shows the large files section. So you'll see I've got a couple of installer files here and these are often quite big, especially this Zorn OS one, that's three gigabytes. So if I no longer needed that anymore, I could just click it and then click delete um, and that would delete it off my computer. I can also show it in Finder to see where it is located, um, which you'll see it's in the downloads folder, um, as you can see there. Um, and then we can also see files in the downloads folder uh, any potential unsupported apps, of which there's none on this computer, any containers, and also file browsers. So, and then we can look through here and um, find anything that we might not need and then move it straight to the bin. Um, also, along this sidebar, you can see applications, which uh, along here you've got um, all your different applications. And you can see, um, this is especially useful here, 
If you want to see if it works for Intel, Apple, Silicon, or both, you can look under the kind section and see if it says universal or Intel or Apple Silicon only. So that's just an interesting way of seeing that. And you'll see if you find an application you no longer need, you can just click on it and then click delete. Now we've also got music here, but there's no um, music files on this user. And then music creation as well. That's just the um, GarageBand sound library on here. So if you no longer need it, you can just click remove and it will take it off your computer. And then we can just see there's other users using 135 gigabytes and then Mac OS and system data with 23 and 21 gigabytes used respectively. So yeah, that's it on optimizing your storage on your Mac OS device. Following these steps will help to clear out some of the unused files on your computer and will hopefully result in clearing some storage for you. If you ever need to do some more drastic storage clearing, now I'd recommend going into Finder and doing an in-depth look and getting rid of any big files that you no longer need. But yeah, hopefully this was helpful and gave you some great success uh, in helping to optimize your storage and clear some storage on your Mac. I know that um, me personally, I always run out of storage on my Mac. I really think that 256 gigabytes is not enough um, these days and the, really the base uh, storage should be at least 512, but um, that's a topic for another day. So yeah, thanks for watching this video on Unpacked Technologies. Once again, hopefully it was helpful um, and gave you some good success in this process. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.